they announced a second edition of the Game Eclipse. Oh, man. So if you don't know, this is a uh, 4X spacefaring game. Very, very highly ranked on Board Game Geek. And if you've kept up with their podcast, we've talked about it before and about our kind of love hate relationship with it. How it's, we have a friend who Wait, loves so it. So there is love in, for you in that? Person? You're the love and I'm the hate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think you love it, but. Uh, I, I mean, I like it. We've, we've gone over, we've talked about it, uh, you know, the reasons I don't love it that much. But they announced a second edition. Uh, you know, it's, they're calling it the Second Dawn, since the first one was Eclipse, a new dawn mm-hmm. or whatever. Uh, some of the things it's going to involve. New graphic design, new minis. Uh, it's going to include the stuff from Ship Pack 1, one of the expansions. Uh, there will be new special plastic inlays for all the components in the box, as well as new custom dice, as, as opposed to, I assume, the six-sided dice. Right. new custom symbol dice. Um, and they uh, also said it will have fine-tuned gameplay, but no specifics as, as of yet. So as people who have played Eclipse... Uh, you know, I thought we could talk a little about if what what would you want in a second edition of the, of this game? What do you think would improve it, if anything? Honestly, the first thing that for me that comes to mind because our friend who owns it is I bought him an insert for that, mm-hmm. and I know like he said it's mostly good except for the ships are a little annoying because you have to like make sure they're rearranged. Uh, is to uh, the miniatures to make sure that they fit well in the box. I think that would definitely be a big thing that a lot of people would enjoy, assuming they buy, pick this up again. Mm-hmm. And it sounds like they said custom inlays, so it sounds like they are doing something like that for, for the insert, which is good. Um, Gameplay-wise, any like tweaks or, or streamlines that I, you can think of? Because I have some. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's definitely... There's, the problem is there's so much to it. Yeah, it's I'm a like, big... It's a heavy and I, game. And I'm more... Like, when I think of anything, like, what would I do to change that doesn't make the entire game collapse somehow? Right. I mean, there's certainly, you know, we did not design this game. I'm sure there are many things to consider for the people who are changing. I'm also things. not like a master, so I can't like tell you everything perfectly. I'm not. But some of the, I mean, I, for one thing, I, I would a big thing for me would be something to further mitigate the randomness of those tiles when you are exploring. I don't know how they would do that, but that, that was one. That's one thing that I remember, kind of had some big curve swingy effects in, in our in our games. Um, I would love a, more, a bigger focus on the theme and, and along with, they said, new graphic design, which I hope means completely new artwork because I wasn't a big fan of the artwork. Um, I don't, you know, if they had more, more flavor texts, more, maybe some kind of uh, like events that could happen to make me feel like I'm actually on a spaceship and not just managing a spreadsheet. Which I often feel like, and all, I mean, I don't know if this is possible, but some kind of a just in general streamlining, if they could cut the time down, or maybe just have like a version, an option to play like a short version of the long game, which could still be two hours, <laughs> but would be better than five hours. You know, like a lot, of, like Dominant Species has that. A lot of longer games have like play the quick version. Maybe it cuts it off at a certain number of rounds or something. That would be my wish list. Odds are. Um, It'll be a long time before we play this game. It's coming out in 2018, this second edition. I did, I did ask our friend who owns, who loves the first game, what his thoughts were. Mm-hmm. He said he's not going to buy it. <laughs> really, I'm shocked. Uh, I think he has like a couple of the expansion. And he's kind of like no, he's yeah, all I, in. I don't actually, I like I don't see a reason to change unless mm-hmm. because even though like I said the whole box issue, I know I think it's still it's more of a like a small inconvenience than mm-hmm. an actual. Problem. I don't see. Like, I'm. I'm. I'm curious with certain other games getting sec- other new additions. Like, what makes it the one thing that the only time I was forced, to, not forced, I guess, I, that I decided. Honestly, probably wasn't worth it, but was for Sherlock Holmes, and that was for one because they. I know they changed some wording in the cases that made things a little easier. If, <clears throat> if mm-hmm. you didn't read Sherlock Holmes, mm-hmm. which granted I have, so it's taking away my handicap. <laughs> But the other thing is they made new games that they all look the same, so on a shelf. I, well, I feel like also Sherlock Holmes is like one of your favorite games, uh, which like saying with like Robinson Crusoe, I really Also, it. I didn't finish the, the original one yet. Right, so. you had, yeah, that would be a very <laughs> different story if you had. Uh, like, uh, Robinson Crusoe, I, I brought second edition because I loved it so much, which I feel like Eclipse is probably our friend's favorite game, So, I'm, but he's much more um, 
conservative and smart <laughs> with his money <laughs> to, with his money decisions than we are. Um, well, he also is probably less caring about the aesthetic too. I he likes the right, spreadsheet. Right. <laughs> I also said to him, "But what if they uh, fix the gameplay in this one?" <laughs> and he said, "Like, they, how could they fix it? It's already perfect." And I didn't respond. I blocked him <laughs> from my phone, and I had him killed. So. That will be coming out in 2018. Uh, it's uh, I don't know. It could it could be really cool. It could I'm excited to see what it looks like at least, and uh, maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe 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 I'll come around. Maybe my opinion will change. Oh, well, well. I don't know. I don't know. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Look at Netflix. Stranger things have happened. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed this video, it was just a snippet of our full-length podcast, which you can find on our YouTube channel every week. So please go ahead, like, and subscribe for more board game-related content coming at you in the future. And don't forget to check out RollForCrate.com, where we actually sell a lot of the games we talked about, as well as post news and all our other videos. Until then, I'm Will Keeler. I'm Jonathan Estes, and this is Roll for Crit.